Over the past few months, a number of different projects have been getting worked on along the Newport Secondary Rail Line on Aquidneck Island in Rhode Island. This video shows projects being done by both designated operator of the line, the Newport Narragansett Bay, as well as the Old Colony Newport Volunteer Organization. First, right-of-way maintenance and track work has been ongoing. A previously problematic crossing at Corey's Lane in Portsmouth was spruced up a bit. Track was rebuilt and some billards were installed as a safety measure to keep vehicles off of the tracks. This is a popular parking area for the nearby beach and cars often parked dangerously close to the active line, although most people <laughs> didn't realize it was still active. Uh, still, that is no excuse to park on train tracks. Now, with the billards, cars are no longer able to park too close to the tracks, and the trains are able to roll through without incident. Ties are also being installed along the north end of the line in various spots to improve the old track. Here are some shots near Anthony Road where ties are going in. Ballast has also been dropped in certain areas where tie work is finished, improving track structure and drainage, which has been an ongoing issue for years. Progress is also being made on the rail with trail in the point section of Newport. Since my last video on it, the trail has been extended north near the line to the new park and ride lot. The line was severed here in June of 2021 for the Pell Bridge ramp construction project, but is not abandoned, although it may look it. Uh, while the east track was removed, the west track is being rebuilt to reconnect to the train station and Newport Transportation Center. The track needs to be finished south to the station, but hopefully we'll see trains on it later this year. The Newport and Narragansett Bay Railroad also started their 2024 season, which included debuting the newly acquired 80-tonner locomotive 14 on the Grand Bellevue dinner train. The locomotive was saved from a decommissioned power plant in Springfield, Massachusetts last year and has found a safe haven on this line. They also continued to work on the Melville campus that now includes several structures and displays, including a new signal. In addition to the dinner train and station, Melville includes the Dashing Dance clam car, Old Colony Newport Railway wood passenger cars, the former Fall River McDonald's train car, and other equipment. Rail Explorers also operates rail bike excursions on the line from Melville, and they board across the street. The Old Colony Newport Railway is also excited to announce we were the recipients of a $2,500 grant from the Mass Bay Railroad Enthusiasts for work on our 1904 wood passenger coach. The money will go toward repairing car sills and windows to help preserve the car and protect it from the weather. Currently, it is on display with the 1884 parlor car at the rail yard in Melville. Old Colony and Newport volunteers also covered the line between Melville and Van Zant Switch in Newport earlier this month when we operated a work train. Some light maintenance work like clearing the line of downed trees and drainage pipe clearing was done. A longer video of this work train is linked in the description. Lastly, a few local college students are working on a project gauging interest in restoring passenger rail service to Newport. They have prepared a survey and petition, so if you haven't already, please fill it out. I have another separate video about this you can watch, and it is linked in the description. I hope to cover more of this project and the proposal of Newport Rail restoration in future videos. 
If you are interested in volunteering, please email the Old Colony Newport Railway. Contact information is in the video description. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos on the Newport Secondary Rail Line.